Hello everyone, welcome to Maths ISA. Here's a typical GCSE physics exam style question on electricity. Explain why earthing is used in electrical appliances and how it protects users from electric shocks. In your answer, refer to the role of the earth wire and what happens if a fault occurs. Now this is a very common exam question I've seen multiple times in both GCSE and IGCSE papers. So pause the video and give this a try. You can come up with as many points as you can think of and what you would write if you got this question in the real exam. When you're ready for the answer, press play, then you can check your answer against mine. Before I explain the um, answer to this question or before I give the exact answer to this question, I would like to quickly talk through the theory part of this. Um, so let's have a look at this um, with an example. So imagine uh, here's a washing machine and under normal conditions, uh, the current that is used by this is say 4.5 amps. So this is the what we call the working current. So a current of 4.5 amps comes through this one and it makes the washing machine work. And then that 4.5 amp will go through the neutral wire. So the current that comes in is 4.5 amps and the current that goes away should be 4.5 amps. As long as it's working properly, that should be the situation. The earth wire is a wire that is connected to the metal casing. So here it's connected just to the metal casing somewhere. And then it is connected to the earth. It is either connected to a, a water pipe, metal pipe, or it is just connected to a metal pole and driven into the ground. So it gives a very low resistant path to the ground. Now, under normal conditions, when there is no fault, there's no current through the earth wire. The earth wire is just there as a safety feature. Now what happens is, imagine if something goes wrong, say the washing machine has been in use for years and one day the live wire got damaged. So what can happen is the live wire can now accidentally touch the metal casing. Now the current will go through this. Now what will happen? The current is connected to the metal casing now. If there was no earth wire, this is really, really dangerous because the next person to touch the washing machine will get an electric shock. But it does not happen when there's an earth wire. So what happens is it goes through the metal casing and now it's connected to the earth wire. A large current will surge down to the earth. Now, when this happens, the current increases from 4.5 amps. It's not 4.5 amps anymore. Now, imagine the the fuse here is a 5 amp fuse because the fuse must be rated slightly above the working current. If the working current is 4.5 amps, the fuse could be like a 5 amp fuse. So when this surging takes place, this current increases from 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9. The moment it goes through beyond 5 amps, what will happen is the fuse here will melt. When the fuse melts, there's no more current coming to the circuit. It will get disconnected from the supply. So although I took like a minute to explain what really happens here, all you will see in practice is the day this uh, damage happens, you turn the washing machine on, there'll be like a surge of current for a fraction of a second. And all you'll notice is, oh, it's not working. Then you call an electrician, the person will come and open it and say, oh, the, the fuse is blown. That means there's something wrong. And then they can go and fix it. So let me give you an answer for this question as a model answer. This is what you can write as the answer. If there is no earth wire and a fault causes the live wire to become loose, it might come into contact with the metal casing. This creates a risk of electric shock for anyone who touches the appliance. Next. Because the question says, explain why earthing is used in electrical appliances. This is why, for the safety. To prevent this, the earth wire is connected to the casing and runs to a metal plate or water pipe buried in the ground. Since copper is a good conductor, the earth wire offers a path of low resistance to the ground. If a fault occurs, the electrical current will travel through the earth wire to the ground rather than through a person. The surge in current will blow the fuse, cutting off the power to the faulty appliance very quickly. 